I've been getting a lot of messages about Trey giving up on AMC. <laughs> Big surprise. Big surprise. That that guy's the biggest shill. I never trusted him. I never liked him. Okay, I never liked Matt Cause. I never trust trusted Matt Cause. I, I wrote a song, Matt the Weasel. You should look it up. If you ever go on YouTube, search for Ape Father and then write Matt the Weasel Cause. All right, it's a good song I wrote. Listen, Trey was doing different things than what he was preaching from the beginning. He was doing different things than what he was preaching. He was telling everybody, buy and hold, buy and hold AMC. He wasn't buying and holding AMC, and neither was Matt Quartz. <laughs> they were, you know, Trey made a million dollars in options. Matt Quartz made over $500,000 in Super Chats. I've been calling out these Mama Lukes from the beginning. Trey even had the balls one time to say something negative about me. He's like, oh, Ape Father ran a GoFundMe scam. I will never have him on my live stream. Yeah, I ran a GoFundMe scam. I helped apes. I helped apes. Okay, what did you do? What did you do, you friggin' Mama Luke Studad? What did you do? All you did, okay, was lie to apes. You tell apes, buy and hold, buy and hold. What are you doing? You're not doing what you're preaching. Okay, you made a million dollars. All these apes, including myself, are suffering. You made a million dollars. Okay, I, 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 I hate Trey. Let's let me listen. No feds. Trey. And Matt Cause, I always found some, and I made a video about this, and I got a lot of hate. I always found it very strange how, you know, coincidentally, okay, these two, they're always on television. They're always on Charles, Charles Payne. They're with Adam uh, Aaron. It's like they're Adam Aaron's uh, boys. You know, it's like, you know, the movie The Lost Boys. You know, the, the guy, remember the guy was the, uh, what was uh, that dude? He owned... Uh, what did he own? The video store? I don't remember. But you know the guy I'm talking about? He was the head vampire. And uh, he went out with the mother, you remember? And then he came by and said, I see you. You took care of my boys here. But you got to take care of me because I'm the head vampire, baby. But the point is, you know, I always found it very odd how, like, Trey and Matt Kors are always on TV, right? Don't you find that weird? Talking to Melissa Lee, talking to Charles Payne. And who's by their side? Who's being interviewed? Adam Aaron. Now, I made a video about this a long time ago, all right? And I got lucky for it. People yelled at me, screamed at me. You have to understand something. AMC is more than Adam Aaron, okay? AMC is more than any YouTuber. It's more than me. It's more than anybody. It is us against the hedge funds, and you have to differentiate that. The problem is... People are making their decisions based on Adam Aaron. In other words, if they want to keep AMC, if they want to, if they want to sell, they're making their decisions listening to people like Trey, listening to Matt the Weasel. No, we are battling the hedge funds. Look, don't you understand? The hedge funds have done this so many times before. Look at Toys R Us. Look at Blockbuster. They 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 look at companies that are distressed, that are in tremendous debt, that you know maybe are not you know going into the future prehistoric they take them out they use naked shorting allegedly they use all kinds of synthetic shares allegedly allegedly to drive the stock down they're in they're in bed with with the media the media pushes fud and who knows if they hire certain youtubers okay it's possible that are on the payroll that are working for citadel that are working for the enemy could that be the case with Trey? Could that be the case with Matt Kors? Absolutely. Could Adam Aaron possibly be on the other side of the fence? I hate to break it to you, but he did sell. You know, you keep calling this guy the silverback. The silverback doesn't sell. The guy sold, cashed out $25 million. I'm sorry. I know I know you guys love... It just amazes me how, like, I see people all around the country and they're taking pictures with Adam Aaron, like, you know, they're like... They're so happy. He wouldn't want to take a picture with me. <laughs> he would that, that would work out very well. That would not, I don't even want to tell you what I'm thinking. That would not work out too well. Let, let's just say I might throw popcorn at him. I mean, sir, I mean, what, what, I mean, I would ask him flat out, Adam, how's it, how's it feel that twenty five million dollars? Great, because I, I lost, I lost six figures. I'm down right now. I can't say lost because it's a paper loss. But I'm like, it feels good. What do you do? You smoke your Cuban cigars? You, you drink a little Don Perignon? How's it feel, okay? Do your job, okay? Give us something, okay, to start the Moaz. Do something. But you see, does he want the Moaz? 
That's the question you have to ask yourself. Does Adam Aaron want the Moaz? What happens when we have the Moaz? All the apes are going to make a fortune. We're going to take our money. We're going to be like that song by Christopher Cross. I got nowhere to go. So I take my AMC Moaz money to Mexico. And that's the end of AMC. Right? So does Adam Aaron want the Moaz? I'd, I say no. He doesn't want it. I made a video a long time ago. And I said to myself, maybe it's possible that Adam Aaron... Hired Trey, hired Matt Cause, pump up the stock, pump up AMC. Remember I made this video? Everybody hated me for it. Everybody hated Maybe hedge funds hired them. Now you might say, but what's the point of this? The point of this was that AMC was on the verge of bankruptcy. Okay? It was the coronavirus. No one was going to the movies. <laughs> the, the movie theaters were all sh closed down. They were shut down. They were made in trouble. So they... Again, you're like, oh, are you saying it's a scam? No, I'm not saying that. What I feel is real. Let me tell you what I feel is real at AMC. I feel synthetics are real. Okay? I feel the hedge funds are using synthetics. Naked short, I have to say allegedly, of course. I feel that is real. And once those positions are closed, you're going to have yourself a nice, nice run with AMC. So that I believe in. It's never involved in AMC, me personally, because of its fundamentals or because of Adam Aaron. I never liked Adam Aaron. I never liked Trey. I never liked Matt Cause. I was in it for a short squeeze play. So all of these things have nothing to do with a short squeeze. You see, you, you have to differentiate. That's the problem with all of you. You can't differentiate. You know, you, you, you think everybody is on our side. You think Trey is on our side. He's a fake ape. He was never an ape. You think Matt Cause is on our side. Cashed up five hundred thousand dollars. You think Adam Aaron's on our side? Cashed up twenty five million dollars. You think Lou is on our side? Lou made hundreds and hundreds of thousands. Never owned a single share of AMC. I'm on your side, me. I'm on your side. I put. To, oh, I don't even want to tell you. I started with one hundred eighty five thousand five hundred. I bought AMC at what fifty three. Since then, I threw in a lot more, a lot more. Not more than one hundred eighty five thousand, but just say. A lot more money. Very respectable amount of shares. But I'm not doing it for Adam Aaron. I'm not doing it for Trey. I'm not doing it for Matt Cause. I'm definitely, definitely not doing it for J. Lou. I'm doing it for me and for my retail AMC, Ape, and GameStop family. That's what I'm doing it for. Okay, so I'm not a financial plan. I don't get financial advice. I'm an entertainer. That's my feelings on it.